Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy? Sports and Fitness Rants. I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Ladies and gentlemen, on my channel, I'm always telling you guys, live an active lifestyle, make smart nutritional choices. And I'm always telling you guys, man, fight against that laziness. And I've told you guys many, many times that when you're on vacation, it's not an excuse for you to be lazy, man. A lot of people go on vacation and they take it as an excuse to set themselves back. And what do I mean by that? Well, quite simply, I've told you guys many, many times, you don't have to do workouts on your vacation. You don't have to go to a gym on your vacation or go to the hotel gym on your vacation and do workouts. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is being active, doing things on your vacation that require you being active, expending energy, those kinds of things. Because if you go on vacation for a week, 10 days, two weeks, whatever the case may be, and you're being lazy every single day, then how is that helping you in your overall fitness? It's not, it's setting you back. You're going backwards now. That's all it takes, ladies and gentlemen, is a week, two weeks of you doing absolutely nothing, being lazy, thinking that you've earned that, and you just say yourself back. All the work you've been doing is gonna get negated. You guys see, I'm on vacation, obviously, right? I'm on the beach, I don't live anywhere near a beach. So I'm out here with the family, like I said, enjoying some rest and relaxation, but not being lazy, still doing my exercises. And I told you, I always got my jump rope with me. You guys think I lie about these things? My jump rope is always with me, man. It's always in my bag. I told you, whether I'm on vacation, whether I go to work, my jump rope is with me, guys. Always looking for a space and opportunity to get that workout in. And I've told you guys many times too, to use your environment, right? That's all you need to do is use your environment. I'm out here on the beach, guys. And right now, I had to go under a boardwalk to get onto this beach. But as I was walking up onto the beach, I saw this jagged piece, this cracked piece of concrete. So all this is, guys, is a broken piece of concrete that I found literally 20 steps over that way coming into the beach. I didn't bring this rock with me. But I found this rock, ladies and gentlemen. So, what can you do with this rock? The same thing I always show you guys, guys, right? You could do the carries, you could hold it, you could hold it above your head, right? All these things, but you can also run with it. So you can take this rock. And take a run with it. You could run with it. You can go back. You can go backwards. I could turn around and run back. Put the rock down, come back, and then drop it. That's a workout. Anyone that knows anything about the beach, holy hell. Anyone that knows anything about the beach, anything about sand, it's hard to run in this. It's hard to change, right, directions in the sand. You've probably seen and heard of people training in the sand, right? Guys riding their bikes in the sand. You know how strong you gotta be to do those kinds of things? Right? A lot of energy expenditure running around the sand. You could do shuttle runs in the sand. You guys know what a shuttle run is? Where you'll go five yards that way or five yards that way, and it'll be about a 15 yard thing. And you'll go down, come back, go down, right? It's a shuttle run. You could do that with, the, with this piece of concrete right here. You could pick this up, shuttle one side, shuttle another side. You could backpedal with it. You could run forward with it, change directions, pick it up, put it down, lift it up again. You can do all these things. All these things, guys. And then you can do some push-ups after that. Remember, it's a pulling movement. Then maybe think about doing a pushing movement after that. Maybe some burpees after. These are all things you can think about, ladies and gentlemen. On vacation, you don't need any fancy equipment. I literally have a jump rope and a piece of concrete out here. And I just told you guys before, I was doing my pull-ups, my push-ups, my squats, body weight stuff. That's all I need. And like I told you, there's many variations to these exercises that you can make them more and more difficult, ladies and gentlemen. Trust me, you're not strong enough or strong as you think you are when it comes to these body weight exercises and advancing these things. Many people can't do muscle ups. Many people can't do human flags or things of that nature. They can't do these things. And these are advanced body weight movements, right? But people will be in the gym and, oh, I can bench this amount of weight or I can curl this amount of weight. It doesn't translate, ladies and gentlemen. So remember that. You don't need any fancy equipment or you need some space, some opportunity. And once again, you must be thinking about this stuff actively. Fight against that laziness. You guys know the deal, man.